Hello, this is Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Thanks for watching. This is our continuing our video series right now of the top 10 most frequently asked questions. This is the question number two. What influences have I had as, uh, on me as a trader? This is part two of that question, or part two of, of question number two. The traders that have influenced me. From the very beginning, right here. I got this in the mail many years ago. Uh, the, the world's most the world's most powerful money manual and course and a little gold star if you know who it is for I tell you Ken Roberts uh, 10 gallon hat guy one two three patterns and so forth this little booklet got me to purchase this workshop from him and you know he goes in and talks about it and 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 here's your videos and then DVDs or actually I guess those are VHS tapes, not even DVDs back then. Um, and I manually updated my charts. And I manually updated the charts, put some information in there. Um, this is how I got my start, just uh, manually updating charts weekly, on a weekly basis. And uh, we'd get these charts in. And on a daily basis, I would mark the highs and lows of the markets I was following, which at this point in time is like 30, 30 futures markets. One of the things that I like about futures, if, we'll talk about futures in a minute, what are futures and so forth. But one of the reasons I like futures over stocks and, and mutual funds and so forth is that I only have to look at 30 markets. In this case, we've really transferred that down to a lot less than that. But we'll talk about that as opposed to 10,000 stocks and 15,000 mutual funds. How many mutual funds are there out there right now? I couldn't tell you. But regardless, uh, let's, let's move on here. After uh, Ken Roberts' episode and the, uh, the Great Pacific Trading Company and the commission cost I paid for that, I won't get into any of the details there, but uh, let's just say that I was overpaying for commission for a while. Next person that kind of influenced me is a gentleman named Nick Van Nice. Uh, I bought a program from him called the Million Dollar Trading Guide. Uh, Russell Sands, you might be familiar with that name, one of the turtle traders that tried to that, that pulled up with Dick, Nick Van Nice, and they came out with this Million Dollar Trading Guide. Me being the gullible guy that I was back then, I'd just buy about anything that was out there in the market. This is, uh, I, if I remember right, if my memory serves me correctly. A nine moving average against a 40 moving average. Moving averages were introduced to me by Nick Van Nice. Uh, bar charts obviously introduced to me by Ken Roberts. So pulling some stuff away. The Master CTS Swing Trading Course. <laughs> oh, it's still in great condition. If anybody would really want it, let me know. I'll give it away for lots of money today. Uh, along with the Twampum course if you want it. So I'll make a copy for you. So we'll talk about what the price would be on that. Master CTS trading, uh, swing trading guide right here. Another Nick Van Nuys CTS called the Commodity, uh, they're called Commodity, Commodity Financial, well, Com Commodity Trend Service, I believe is the company now. Now that, that's been bought out by another gentleman and I don't know anything about the current CTS, but I'm talking about the Nick Van Nice years. <clears throat> After that, we started to get into more traders that really started to influence me in a positive manner. And one of those traders is Larry Williams. And uh, he wrote a book, How I Made $1 Million uh, Last Year Trading Commodities. One of the books that I think is a trader you need to have. This is an awesome book. Uh, just, just a, uh, what can you say? I mean, the, the gentleman, he, he does trade. He has a website called IReallyTrade.com. Um, Larry Williams is just one of those guys that's out there that really does it and, and he, he preaches what well, he, he does what he preaches and, and he shows it and he what can you say I mean the guy runs uh, uh, at one point I seen him in a live trading environment trading so there you go I mean that's kind of the, the barometer test that sticks uh, to my and the way I view things can they really trade and he says it right there on his website I really trade.com good guy more longer term stuff at Larry Williams. You need a little bit more money, in my humble opinion, to be able to trade his stuff, but really, really good stuff. Um, Joe Ross, trading as a business. He's one of my mentors. Uh, I went and visited him down in Austin, Texas. Um, really great guy, very humble, uh, very good Christian man. 
uh, does pr uh, prison ministry. It's very close to his heart right now. Um, just one of the awesome traders that I got to meet along the way. He wrote a book called Trading as a Business. Highly recommend this book. It is a little bit on the pricey side. It usually you might be able to find it lower. Uh, last time I looked, it was around $150. Uh, it's a really good starter book. I, I really like this book. Along those lines, another thing that I really learned from uh, Joe Ross, and the, probably the thing that I took away from them that, that they do the best is spread trading. And I learned to trade spreads, spreads and seasonals. And that's one of the things that I believe in as well, that trading spreads and seasonals. Another one of the Joe Ross's books, they actually got some really good material out there. You can find their information at tradingeducators.com. That's uh, tradingeducators.com. That's Joe Ross's company. Uh, then we talk about psychology a little bit. Don't really want to get in this too much, but let's talk a little bit about psychology. Uh, good book here, Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Uh, if you don't have this in your trader's library, I highly recommend it. Get a copy of this book. Read it. It'll help you on the psychology. This, there's a lot of good things. Master the market with confidence, discipline, and a winning attitude. There's that 90%. And some traders will say 100% of, of your problem as a trader is your psychology and your discipline. We preach at our night capital management. Uh, we preach discipline, patience, and self-control. Those three components will help you make winning trades in our day trading environment that we have right now. Uh, can't forget Marcus Highcutter at, Roll, uh, at Rockwell Trading. This is a gentleman that I learned a lot from. Marcus, here's a picture of him right there. Really great guy. Runs a, his own company called rockwelltrading.com. Uh, also based out of Austin, Texas. Uh, like I said before in a previous video, I worked for them for about... Uh, I guess it was about a year and a half or so, and around, right around that range. Um, can't speak highly. I mean, I speak very highly of him. I think he's a has an excellent company at, there at Rockwell Trading. Last but not least, time to pull into what I believe in. There's a book that I actually took the actual book and made a photocopy of it so that I could uh, write notes in it. And this is the only copy that I photocopied, by the way. Uh, Master of the Markets by Tom Williams, where I come from, VSA. I'm a volume spread analysis trader. Um, Richard Wyckoff, uh, this is kind of what I evolved into about 100 years ago. Uh, he came. Richard Wyckoff came out with the concept that's now called VSA. Tom Williams out of the book here, Master of the Markets. Now they have a company called uh, TradeGuider.com, I believe is their company name. Try, yeah, TradeGuider Systems or TradeGuider.com. I, I don't know much about the company itself, although his book, it was originally written in, uh, I think, believe it, in 1993. I had an original copy of that, and they sub since updated this book, and it's got all kinds of colored graphs and so forth. But what do I believe in? Price action, momentum, volume. Those three components will help you lead to a successful trade, uh, along with patience, discipline, and self-control. The three major components of the psychology of a trader. Between using your mind here and using a system uh, like we show at nightcapitalmanagement.com in our live trading room or, or, or as if you watch this later, our products that are up on our website. We look forward to helping you. This is Dave Knight here, once again here at Night Capital Management. I thank you for paying attention. We'll come back with a part, uh, question number three soon. Talk to you a little bit later. Bye now.